let's have a look at what this actually means to the TOGAF certification program. So first of all, TOGAF 9 certification. It requires knowledge of the TOGAF standard. And now that some of the material has been taken out of the TOGAF standard, selected materials from the body of knowledge. Importantly, this is still TOGAF 9 certified. If you are TOGAF, TOGAF 9 certified, you need to do nothing. You will retain your TOGAF certification. We're also going to develop credentials, much more lightweight approaches to demonstrate more detailed knowledge of specific areas. So for TOGAF 9 certification, the content of the body of knowledge is defined in detail in the certification program definition. Um, those of you who are in the service provider world will be very familiar with this document, the conformance requirements. It defines which of those standards in the boxes at the bottom are referenced, which guides, and importantly, which parts of them. Because in many of these, only the, the high level overview of the document is part of the TOGAF 9 certification body of knowledge. By and large, the scope of TOGAF 9 certification is broadly unchanged with the publication of the TOGAF standard version 9.2. The only thing that has gone away is the reference to service-oriented architectures. Everything else is retained, but clearly some of the pointers to materials have had to be changed because they are in different documents. So finally, let me introduce to you the TOGAF Credentials Program. We want to extend TOGAF People Certification to recognize detailed knowledge about some of these elements in the extended TOGAF ecosystem. We're also using it to demonstrate up-to-date knowledge. And in fact, the very first credential that we have launched does just that, the TOGAF Essentials 2018 credential. For those of you who don't know what a credential is, it is something that you earn. And once you've earned it, you are awarded a badge, a credential badge. But the important thing behind that badge is you have a link. That link takes you to material like the stuff on the right-hand side of this screen, which explains exactly what you had to do to earn that badge. So it's something you can put into your LinkedIn profile. It's something you can put into your email footer. And you can associate that image with a link to give it credibility. Because these are not held by the open group. These are held by an organization called Acclaim, which has a degree of, um, of legitimacy. It's going to change its name in the not too distant future, but that doesn't affect the program at all. So the TOGAF Essentials 2018 batch. This is based on a three and a half hour training session delivered by an accredited TOGAF training provider, which covers more or less the ground that I've covered today, but in a little bit more detail, 50 minutes against three and a half hours. So it, in order to achieve to get this credential, number one, you have to be TOGAF 9 certified to demonstrate the fact that you understand the basic TOGAF standard. And then you need to demonstrate that you know what's new in 2018, both in the standard and in the body of knowledge. So you have this three and a half hour training course. There is no formal exam. You don't need to go to Pearson View. You don't need to have some kind of um, uh, invigilator. It's a lightweight online assessment. You'll get 20 questions in 30 minutes. It's an open book. So you can have the TOGAS standard, whatever available to you while you do this assessment. Once you've completed that assessment, 
achieved the pass mark of 75%, you will be invited to accept your TOGAF Essentials 2018 batch. So let me remind you, what did we launch last week? The latest version of the TOGAF standard, version 9.2. An extensive library of practical guidance in the usage of the TOGAF standard in different contexts, and a credential badge that you can use to indicate that your knowledge of the TOGAF standard and the TOGAF ecosystem is up to date. So what you need to do, those of you who use TOGAF certification in any way, the, what you need to do to demonstrate your value to your customers is have the combination of TOGAF 9 certification and the TOGAF Essentials credential, which is really easy to get, does not require a significant investment of either time or money. Remember, some people, like me, passed their TOGAF 9 certification examination eight years ago. That particular certification does not indicate whether or not you've done anything with the TOGAF standard in the intervening eight years. The credential says, I have taken the trouble to maintain my knowledge up to date. And we are going to require all TOGAF trainers to have the TOGAF Essentials 2018 badge when they start to deliver courses based on version 9.2 of the standard. That brings me to the end of the material that I have. Thank you for your attention.